In this video, we'll demonstrate how you can make items in a view box layout draggable. So you can see here we have a simple view box with two divs. And I'm going to press and hold on div one and try to drag it. And as you can see, when I move my mouse, I'm not dragging the element. So if, let's go back into design mode now and we'll look at this uh, view box layout. And we see there's the first uh, div with the uh, red border. It's positioned in the top left hand corner and there's the second div. Um, with a blue border and that is positioned uh, three inches from the left hand side and both of these uh, divs have an A5 item of drag one on it but if we go and look at uh, drag one we can see that draggable is not yet turned on so I'm going to go here and turn draggable on and um, you can see that I've also now defined the on drag start and in the on drag start, we're capturing the uh, starting position of the element. So you can see here we've captured, um, uh, in a, we've created an object and stored it in the view box itself called this dot, uh, this dot underbar coordinates. And we're capturing the left and top position of the, um, of, of the, uh, um, the red div. And then in the on move, we're basically setting the position of the div. So we're setting the left and top position of the div to the uh, drag info object. So this tells us basically the object that we're dragging on, what its current X and Y position is. And so we're taking the initial start position, which we've captured in this dot underbar coords and setting the left and top position uh, to these new values. And then in the on drag end here, we're just alerting that the user has dropped, but it would be possible um, to uh, capture the position of the element and store it in local storage so that when you rerun the component, you can restore the, um, the position of the, the dragged element to where, wherever it was uh, when dragging stopped. So let's go now and run this component. and now drag on element one and you can see we can now drag it and then we stop dragging. Uh, the user has dropped the element uh, um, message files. So this video demonstrates how you can easily add drag actions to elements in a view box by uh, assigning an A5 item attribute to the element and then setting the draggable property on that A5 item. Thanks very much for watching.